Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here at thebtccourse.com. And in this video, I wanna show you how you can monetize your website using Bitcoin, and in particular, Bitcoin over the Lightning Network. And we're gonna be using a tool called MASH in order to do this. Now, MASH lets you add different functions and features to your website that you can go ahead and earn money from. So what you could do is you could lock content with MASH, so that way somebody has to pay you know, a, a certain amount of sats or satoshis uh, in order to access that piece of content or download that file. And if you don't know, there's 100 million sats or satoshis inside of one Bitcoin. So one sat is worth less than one penny, basically, at this point in time. If Bitcoin gets to a million dollars, then one sat would equal one penny. So just, just for reference. So basically, what MASH would allow you to do is charge somebody, you know, 10 sats, 100 sats, something like that in order to access a piece of content. Additionally, there's other functions and features, like if we scroll down here, there's reactions, so people could go ahead and react to your blog post, react to your content, and so on. And I'll show you an example of that in just a second here. You could also generate or create fans and community, so there's voting and stuff like that, donations, content monetization, uh, we come on down, there's rewards, and so on. So there's just different options and functions and we'll go through a couple of them now this is a brand new tool so there's a lot of new stuff coming out and so i just want to like kind of get ahead of the curve and show you that this is out here so maybe you want to start implementing some of the functions and features sooner rather than later so you can see how this tool works because i think this tool is going to be massive i think that this could really help bitcoin and lightning network adoption because there's just you, you can't do this type of thing um anywhere else and so there's it's really cool and i think you should maybe check it out now there is this podcast episode it's about two hours long that i recommend you know listening to as well uh this is the fellow that i created i guess this is lewis roberts he created or he's behind mash and this is marty bent so if you don't know there he's a prominent bitcoiner but anyway they talk all about mash and all that type of stuff in this episode and they've launched like a a full version of MASH on the TFTC.io website. So this is Marty Bent's you know, main website right here, but you can kind of get an idea of how MASH works and everything else by visiting this website. So here we are on the website and let's just go ahead and click into this blog post right here. And we can see on the left hand side, there's some, this is, this is like the MASH toolbar. So we could click right here and there's like some information about MASH and so on. We could create a MASH account and so on. So there's that and we'll look at it in a minute uh, we could go ahead and click this plus button so not a plus this heart button and this is support and donate so right here we could just go ahead and you know offer to donate uh, a set amount of dollars or sats to this particular page now if this page is written by a different author like that author could also have a revenue split. So that's a cool thing about MASH right here. So maybe, you know, the TFTC team, they earn, you know, 50%. The author of this blog post earns 40% and 10% goes to serve like the servers or something like that. So there's different ways that the, the profit and revenue can be split using MASH. Now, I'm not gonna go into all those options in this video because that would be very long and I actually don't have all the access required to do that type of thing but this this is the type of thing that you know they talk about on this podcast episode so it's it's really cool uh, how it's going to work and is working right now but anyway you could go ahead and donate right here or if we scroll on down we can see that there's different reactions to these different paragraphs so if I hover over a paragraph we can see that you know, people have done these things, these reactions to this paragraph, or I could go ahead and add my own reaction. You know, you scroll on down and there's little uh, animations and stuff like that for people that donated this uh, treasure chest and so on. So cool, cool stuff right here. Uh, let's go ahead and add our own reaction. So click on this smiley face thing. So here's a couple reactions and we can see the, the individuals that donated the current reactions right there and then we could add our own reaction so right now they're doing a promo where I can do 10 free per page uh, reaction so if I wanted to do a free reaction I could or there's also premium reactions like I want to donate some money to Marty Bent or TFTC I could go ahead and use a premium reaction so let's go ahead we'll throw this guy on here and you can see just by clicking on that guy, it pops up a QR code, which is a lightning invoice, or I could go ahead and copy the 
Lightning invoice right here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it, go up to my Lightning wallet, which is Albi, and I'm going to go ahead and send, paste in my Lightning invoice, and then you can see 2100 sats, which is about 60 cents in reaction to blah, blah, blah. So pay now. And poof, it's successful and closed. So your reaction was added anonymously. Basically, I need to create an account with MASH in order to, you know, have my, um, my account associated with it. But if you don't want to create a MASH account and you just want to use your, your regular Lightning wallet, you could go ahead and do that as well. Like I just used Albi right there to pay that invoice. So you don't have to have a MASH account in order to donate to a website, which is pretty cool stuff because, you know, maybe somebody doesn't want to create a MASH account and just, uh, it's just so long as they have a, a Lightning wallet, they could go ahead and donate to your website uh, or even buy a reaction or something like that. So just cool stuff that's, you know, available on MASH. Now let's go ahead and log into MASH real quick. So. On the TFTC website, there's a couple extra features like these reactions and stuff that aren't quite available to normies like you and, well, maybe you're not a normie, but normies like me. But anyway, you can just come up here to start earning and you can go ahead and sign up. It's not non-KYC, but you do have to give an email address. So you would sign up with an email address when you go ahead and log in. And so here we are inside of the admin portal area. Now, real quick on pricing, because you might be wondering, like, this sounds pretty cool. Like, does it cost money? And it does not cost any money unless you earn over $2,500. So after you earn that, then it starts to cost some money. But, you know, and for just playing around with it at this point in time, like, I'm not worried about it. And it doesn't cost any money. All right. So now here we are inside the admin panel. And the first thing we might want to do is do connect mash. And here's where you would go ahead and select how to add it to your website. So you could do general or WordPress or Squarespace and so on. So you can see the different options here. And basically when you select the option, it'll give you instructions based off of whichever uh, platform you select. So I personally have a WordPress website. So I selected that option and I want to continue and I could choose where I want to place my mash logo. So you, know, you place it pretty self-explanatory stuff. Continue. This is where I place it on a mobile device and then continue. And then it gives me the instructions for installing it on WordPress. So I had to download the WordPress plugin and go through a couple instructions. Uh, it's pretty simple stuff. But anyway, so I went through and I've installed it on my own website here. So you can see MASH down here in my dashboard. And yeah, so Hopefully you can follow the instructions on the MASH website if you're installing it on WordPress. They're, they're pretty simple. If you've ever installed a WordPress plugin, yeah, you just follow those, those steps. All right, now there's a few different options. So we can go ahead and do Boost. So Boost is a your floating boost button. So I've added it to my website already in the bottom right-hand corner. So if you love this site, share your love by boosting for five cents. So now if somebody you know is on my website and they're looking at some free Bitcoin tutorials. They could go ahead and be like, oh, this is awesome. And they click the little plus button. Of course, they could go ahead and sign up for MASH and log in and use their MASH account to, to donate or pay with the other Lightning wallet. So I'll click on that. There's my Lightning invoice and I'm gonna go ahead and pay myself. So I'll go ahead and send, continue. So 175 sats is five cents. So you can see how the, the sats work out to dollars. Um, if you if you're unfamiliar with sets, but we'll go ahead and pay now. And there we go. So I just paid myself five cents. You know, I showed some love uh, to myself. Self love is an important thing, so they say. But anyway, that is a boost. So you can add a boost. There's floating boost buttons or inline boost buttons, and you just add button. You could go ahead and you know just select different style options for it and so on. So it's a few different options. And then you can select what pages it shows up on. So you can have it show up on all pages or diff like maybe you want to have it show up only on certain pages or not on certain pages and so on. So there's you know a few different targeting options right here. And then you would just go ahead and publish it and your boost button would show up on your website. So yeah, so that's one option that you could go ahead and do with the free MASH account. 
Uh, donations, so it gives you a permanent QR code, so you can put that on your website and be like, hey, you could donate here, just scan this QR code with your Lightning Wallet, and then you can send however many Satoshis you want to send over to me, or it gives you a, a MASH Lightning address, so people could send uh, Lightning or Bitcoin to this Lightning address right here, and I would go ahead and receive it into my MASH account. All right, page revealers. So this can be handy if you're trying to protect some content. So you have, you know, maybe membership content or something that you want to earn income from. You could go ahead and create a new page revealer. So we have a category. So this, you can create different categories and each category would have a different amount. So maybe this is like pre premium content, premium. And this would cost, 10, 10, 10 cents per view of premium content. You can also do freebies per month. So maybe you have a whole bunch of content and you let people read five um, free a month. So you could put five in there. And then after those five, then it would be 10 cents uh, a month. Or not 10 cents per, per page reveal. I'm sorry, 10 cents per page reveal. And so we'll just go ahead and do confirm and then it gives us some information. So this is what it looks like, or we could select this option and we could go ahead and change our icon or set it as our favorite icon or all sorts of stuff. We can go ahead and change the content or the title or personalization message. We can add some bullets to it. So if we're truly, really trying to sell our, our lot content, you'd go ahead and do this type of stuff. But I'm just showing you some of the options that are in here and continue. And so what pages will this show up on? So if you have like, yeah, so if you wanna lock like all your blog articles and your URL contains blog, you could go ahead and throw that in there. So then somebody could read, you know, five blog posts. And then after that, they have to pay the 10 cents per blog post that they wanna view. So there's that, or you could go ahead and specify specific pages only and so on. So several different options um, you can go ahead and choose from. So I'll go ahead and confirm. All right, so there we go. And there's the community right here. So you can go ahead and set up a community. Um, let's see. So there's a few different options right now. So there's multiple choice poll, a race. So create a race between multiple options that your community can vote for and then crowdfund. So there's live examples here. So you can kind of see what this looks like and these different communities would be hosted on the mash.com website, but maybe you want to you know, promote it on Twitter or X or something like that. Uh, you could go ahead and do that and get some engagement that way. Um, just, I haven't actually set up a, an event yet, but I just wanted to show you that's what, what they, that they're available and you can view live examples. And then there's widget galleries. So there's community events, page revealer, and boost button that we've talked about previously. So those are those are like the easiest ones to install. But then there's like donation button, content revealer, accordion revealer, button revealer, download button, video player. So this could be very handy if you have like private videos and you want people to pay to watch that video. You could go ahead and install a little snippet of code on your website and that would make them have to pay in order to access that piece of content. Uh, links, MASH Lightning Book Starter, uh, and MASH SDK. So uh, these are more advanced options to install. Like you have to, you know, let's see, we'll do that real quick. So I just selected a, a payment, but you have to go ahead and put a snippet of code in your website in order to like make this button work and function and stuff. So. It might be a little advanced, but uh, maybe you can figure it out. And then if we come up to earnings right here, I can see how much I've earned so far from my um, website. So I've earned 10 cents, so I've earned 350 sats. And we can see how much Bitcoin that is. And I've received, you know, those two donations from people clicking and the people being me, clicking that little heart in the bottom right hand corner of the website and donating to my my cause. All right, so there's the transactions right there. And if we come to pricing, so let's say that you want to add some different pricing categories or you want to edit your current pricing category, like maybe no one's buying the premium 
and you want to go ahead and change it to five cents you could go ahead and do that and so it's not set in stone um, once you set it or maybe you know people are reading it left and right and you think you can get a dollar for it and so you can go ahead and change that amount there um, there's this max spend thing so give your users free access to your experiences after spending a certain amount in a calendar month so yeah if you want to reward people for spending you know maybe it's ten dollars yeah, ten dollars a month on your website well then from then that point on uh, the rest is just free so that, that's kind of cool because you might see like different websites I don't know I think Financial Times uh, or maybe Forbes even like only lets you read like one article and then they lock it and then they want you want to charge you ten dollars a month or something uh, so with this you know people could view what they want they pay their you know ten cents per article or what it might be and then if they hit the threshold so that ten dollar threshold then for the rest of the month everything is free on the website so that could be very beneficial and that's pretty much it for the settings area that we can go ahead and use on our websites right now now if you want to get more advanced like they have on the TFTC website you have to go ahead and register as a partner so you can go to access the new mash and right here you have to fill out all this partner type information and so if you have like a, a larger website a big that has lots of visitors and maybe you have multiple contributors to your to your blog or something like that uh, then you might want to sign up as a publisher and then you start getting more advanced functions and features earlier on which might be really good for your business and so that's pretty much it for this video I just wanted to show you that this tool is out here uh, and I recommend watch, watching or listening to this podcast because they cover a lot of the information and details and their vision for this tool and so on and you know I think the lightning network is going to be massive and this mash tool right here just adds so many functions and features and just you know it's super easy to use and if you have a lightning wallet like in your in your browser already like I have Albi like it's just super simple to you know zap some sats over to these creators and support them for their hard work so that's it for this video I hope you found it interesting at least and I appreciate any sorts of likes comments subscribes anything like that and or please check out the btccourse.com it is a free website with lots of video training related to bitcoin and it's just my way to try and give back to the pleb community and with that i hope you have a great rest of the day